Katherine Alford here for your next edition of Sensei's Money Reels. Today I want to talk about a topic that I've experienced myself and that's what to do if you are completely and utterly broke. Yes, I've been there and if you have too, keep watching. about that time I was really super duper extra broke. This is how broke I was. I went to Walmart and I went and I bought a bunch of things, you know, shampoo, conditioner, brushes, things you need to live, right? And I went and I was checking out and there was a million people behind me and my credit card got declined. I got a little embarrassed, you know, a little pink in the cheeks and so I went and got another credit card and that one was declined too. I had no way to pay for my groceries. Luckily, my mom was with me at the time and it was so embarrassing that I had to go over like two aisles and ask her to come and pay for all of my stuff and then I had to pay her back. I was mortified. I had no money in my bank account. I had nothing. And the thing was is I thought I had money uh, in my account and I didn't. And so a big part of how to get out of debt or how to stop being completely broke is going to be about just taking control of your finances and learning how you spend your money. But let's back up a little bit because if you're sitting there watching this and you really are truly, completely, utterly broke, you don't know how you're going to pay your next bills, step one is to sell everything in sight. You might think that you need a sofa and two chairs in your living room, but you actually don't. The floor is nice and cozy if you're broke. You really don't need a lot, and you would be amazed what people will buy. Once I sold a broken lamp, and I told someone it was broken at a garage sale. I also sold like broken Minion toys from Walmart that used to talk, but don't anymore, and people still wanted those too, so people will buy anything and everything, even if you have clothes or they have a stain on them, have a massive garage sale, sell everything on Craigslist, get on eBay, go crazy, sell every single thing in your house. Most people have a thousand dollars plus in their house that they don't even know is in there. All right, step two, once you've sold everything in sight and you've gotten as much money as possible, is you need to start a side hustle. There are so many side hustles that you can start, little small businesses. It's the summertime as I'm recording this, so you can mow your neighbor's lawns. If it turns into winter, you can shovel their driveways. You can do anything and everything. Even delivering pizzas at night consistently can earn you about $20,000 extra a year. You would be surprised how much extra money you can make with a little bit of uh, elbow grease, a little bit of extra hard work. All right, so once you've sold everything, you've got as much money as possible for your possessions, then you start a side hustle, you start getting a lot of extra money in, things get a little easier. The very last step to not being completely and utterly broke anymore is to learn how to manage your spending. Once you know every single thing that you spend and where your money goes, you can get such amazing control of your finances. That was the problem with me when I was completely, utterly broke. And once I started to really pay attention to where my money was going, I started noticing I was spending a lot on food, spending a lot on eating out. It might not have seemed like that much at the time, but it really was. And now these days, food is still the number one thing I struggle with, but I'm so much more aware of it. Honestly, the day that I was broke in Walmart, that was about three years ago, and now I run a business, I do really well, I have a large emergency fund, so even if you think that you can't turn your life around, I'm here to tell you that you absolutely can. It only takes a little bit of extra work, a lot of perseverance, and a little bit of budgeting skills for you to go from completely broke to completely wealthy and successful. Good luck. I know you can do it. All right, that's it for this episode of Sensei's Money Reels. Join us next time right here on Sensei.com. Bye.